it's Monday and I'm back. Yes, hello again to the online version of the Mirrors Football Transfer Service. And while I've been away, a huge battle has been building up for the services of none other than the Chelsea captain, John Terry. We already know that Man City mean business and that they're about to snap up Tevez and possibly Eto. But now they're going for their most audacious target yet. And by the looks of things, they really have given Chelsea something to think about. Just to be clear, City have already had two bids of £30 million and £35 million turned down. But they've very cleverly let it be known that they're willing to pay Terry wages of up to £300,000 a week and the word is that if they bid around 40 million pounds maybe 45 then Chelsea could sell now I can tell you that new boss uh, Carlo Ancelotti is due to give his first Chelsea press conference today and he's already stepped into this row by saying that Terry either has to come out publicly and say now whether he wants to stay or go so my question to you Chelsea fans is this would you let him go for the money City want to pay is Ancelotti playing a dangerous game by forcing Terry's hand and City fans would Terry be the signing that makes you genuine title contenders and even for you neutrals is £300,000 a week way too much I think City might be setting a worryingly new benchmark by agreeing to pay that much anyway you know the ways you can get in touch on email on the blog and on YouTube just before we move away from Chelsea as well, the 25-year-old winger Yuri Zhirkov is in London to complete his move from CSKA Moscow. But then you knew that from watching Spy already. Anyway, now here's one for all you Arsenal fans. A holding midfielder that Arsene Wenger likes, Fiorentino's Felipe Melo, is refusing to consider point-blank a move to the Emirates. He's just signed a new deal, but the word is that Fiorentina would still consider doing a swap deal in order to get Emmanuel Ibui. But Melo wants to stay because he gets regular first-team football in Italy. A player that I think would be a great signing for Arsenal is the Swiss holding midfielder Gokan Inla, who plays for Udinese in Italy. Arsenal do indeed like him very much, but Udinese have quoted Liverpool £18 million as they know that Rafa is going to have money burning a hole in his pocket if he sells either Alonso or Mascherano. Now, just on those two players, Madrid really want Alonso and Barcelona are desperate for Mascherano. And both of those players want to go as well. So, regardless of what Rafa says, both deals are going to happen. It's just a case of the Spanish clubs making the English club an offer that Anfield can't refuse. Now, if they do sell, then expect Liverpool to move in for this man. His name's Gitano D'Agostino and he's valued at £15.4 million. He's a playmaker for Udinese. He's a quality player. And lots of clubs want him, but I'd expect him to go for a lot more than £15 million. Now, time for your messages and apologies for starting up a competition last week and then leaving you in the lurch. But as Dan, who stepped in, has been telling you I've been a bit under the weather. Anyway, we still want you to tell us how much you think Frank Ribery will go for this summer. Not where he goes, but just how much he's going to go for. The winner will get these rude boots as christened by the transporter who fills this show. Five runners-up, i.e. the five correct entries that don't win the boots, will get a copy of England's greatest goals. We've got five to give away, and I've got to point out that this was made before the era of McLaren and Capella, but it's still a good watch anyway. Anyway, we've had lots of entries so far, and so here are just a few of them. On YouTube, Gary Spurs thinks Ribery will go for £45 million. Sounds about right. Cooper says 60 million, but he doesn't say if that's pounds or euros. Either way, it sounds too much for me. Ivy Haig says 38 million pounds. P. Murphy says uh, 50 million pounds. And he's one of only a few of you to put his boot size down. Please, please, please put your boot size down if you're entering. On the spy email, spy at mirror.co.uk, Jason Campbell, uh, he's a huge Arsenal fan. He says 48 million pounds. I like that. Jay Samways and Sand H018 both say. £55 million, pounds, way too much, surely. And Visa Valtanen is from Finland. Uh, picture, please. Uh, he's hedging his bets with £47.5 million. Pounds. I like your thinking. Now, I wasn't here for the Michael Owen to United thing, but for the record, I think it's a great move for him, and I think it just shows how much people in football base their opinions on what everyone else is saying. Because if Owen was 33 or 34, then maybe you could understand people writing him off. But 
at 29 it was always ludicrous to suggest that he's passed it and now the same people who are saying uh, that he's passed it are saying that he's a great buy just because Sir Alex has moved in for him uh, in fact a West Ham fan that I was speaking to just two weeks ago you know who you are was saying that he would be too much of a risk for their club when I was trying to convince him otherwise I just wonder what he'll be thinking next season when Owen starts banging them in for United anyway some news in brief for you. Arsenal put a huge £40 million price tag on Cesc Fabregas with the news that Barcelona could come back in for him this summer. The Mail say that Aussie right-back Lucas Nielsen talks over a return to West Ham after failing to get the money he was after elsewhere. Sunderland have made an offer for the Deportivo Toluca defender Paolo De Silva. He's 29, he's from Paraguay and he's available on a free. Spurs have had talks with Real Madrid about signing striker Alvaro Negredo, but Real don't want to sell him. They want to sell to Liverpool as part of a deal to send Alonso the other way. West Ham are interested in the big Blackburn defender Christopher Samba. He's refusing to sign a new deal at Ewood Park. And the former Newcastle striker Mark Viduca, you know, the fat 33-year-old one, has had two offers from Premier League clubs, even though he was shocking last season. His agent is saying here he's fit again and he's hungry. I bet he is. The Greek club Panathinaikos want to sign Pascal Chimbonda from Spurs and Fulham, West Brom and Blackburn are all interested in the ex-Liverpool player Luis Garcia. And it seems someone at Bayern Munich wants to blow you all out of the water in the Rude Boots competition because we're hearing that Real Madrid are going to offer Arjun Robin, Wesley Schneider and £17.5 million pounds in cash to finally land the signature of Ribery from Bayern Munich. Just before we move on, we'll be debating in the spy office whether the Spanish league will be a better league to watch next season than the Premier League. I think it won't. I think regardless of what Ronaldo has been saying and the fact that Madrid and Barcelona have got all those players in, I'd still rather watch the Premier League. But I'm going to throw it out to you. Which would you rather watch? Let me know. Uh, also, lots of you Spurs fans have been asking for news on targets for your clubs. And I do like to oblige when I can. But I have to say, I never thought I'd be bringing you this story. The Portuguese paper Abola is reporting that Spurs is trying to tempt 36-year-old Luis Figo out of retirement. Now, I'm sure it's a hoax, as you must be, but we will get to the bottom of it right here on mirror.co.uk. Before I go, you know I don't like bad language here on the show or on the various forums that you can post on. So it's my duty to bring you the response of the Bordeaux president, Jean-Louis Triaud, to news that Sunderland are in the running to sign striker Marouane Schemack, who's so far only been linked with Arsenal. The Bordeaux president said last night, what the f would he do at Sunderland? You've heard him say he will only sign for a very big English club. Very harsh, very unfair. And if Schemack does go to Arsenal this summer, then I wish him all the best going to the Stadium of Light next season. More spy for you later. You know where to send me all your emails, your comments, your pictures and your competition entries. I'll see you soon.